back. It's been over a month, about a month and a half, and guys, I'll tell you right now, we are not happy about this at all. When we, when we started this YouTube channel, we wanted to be here every single week uploading v v videos, So, but today we're back, and I'll tell you, something's been up. Something was wrong the whole time. We started back at work about six weeks ago, and after work, I've just been feeling drained and everything, and I don't think it's been from work the whole time. There's been, been something missing something's been you almost want to say something's been deficient absolutely I mean I mean just waking up every single day feeling like just basically 60 or 70 percent and have it gradually going down and by the time I was done work I was completely done I did not want to shoot shoot a video although every single morning I, I wake up and tell Jay hey man we're gonna shoot the video we're gonna do this and by the end of the day we are just completely freaking done hey H ready to shoot a YouTube video Mwah. Hey Hank, ready to shoot a video? Hey Hank, ready to shoot a YouTube video? So, we went to the doctor to get some blood work done because we have been uh, doing some research and we have found out that B12 deficiency is common amongst vegans. Yes, so, so we went, we got the test done, we have the results right here. There it is guys. Right here. and. Absolutely, it says it says that H, I, what are the results? The results say that that I have a B12 level of 56. Now it says on this piece of paper here that a regular B12 level is between 139 and 781. So that's dangerously low, I think, and, I, and that really kind of um, reaffirms to me that all the feelings that 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 we have felt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we, so we did some research online. We were taking a look into what actually was happening to us, and we were, and we were reading uh, Harvard Medical Journal, and it was reading, uh, uh, when recognizing a B12 deficiency, you can have strange sensations, numbness, or tingling in the hands, legs, or feet, difficulty walking, anemia, uh, which is a deficiency in a low red blood cell count, um, a swollen, inflamed tongue, yellow skin, uh, difficulty thinking or reasoning, Cog your cognitive skills, which which is exactly what we felt. Hi, honey. I'm home with a long work day and something, my dear. <laughs> Gotta take my boots off. Hey, H, could you pass me the keys? With the keys? Where are those damn things? I swear, I just must have seen those. <laughs> uh, weakness and fatigue. Now, I can't say that I felt all those symptoms, but I can definitely say the weakness and fatigue were definitely there because I know me, and when I'm on this high carb, low fat vegan lifestyle, I'm feeling great, it's always high energy and, and I knew that there was something up. So, yeah, no, so right there, we go to the doctor. So I'm sitting in the doctor's office and- We're like, man, what do we do then? I'm like, you know, our B12 level's 56. So he's telling me that it is a what's, a what's a regular B12 level like? Between 139 and 781. So 781 is regular. We were at 56, guys. So we go to the doctor, what, what, what happened? So, uh, so I'm sitting in the office and I'm pretty concerned at this point and he tells me that it's a dietary issue and that I need to be eat consuming more red meat. And I'm just sitting there and scratching my face. I'm just like, man, I'm a vegan. There's no way I'm doing that. Just because not only am I gonna maybe get some B12 from the meat, but I'm gonna get cancers. I'm gonna just feed disease. And there's definitely, and, and not only that, I'm gonna hurt the planet. And most of all, hurt my animal friend. And there's no way I'm gonna do that. So then he tells me to eat more, uh, uh, eat to eat more eggs and drink more milk. I'm like, he's not getting the point. Of it. I'm like, all right. Like, I know, like in the vegan community, there's a lot of jokes about doctors and stuff. But I'm literally living this joke, and in my head, I'm just like, I can't believe this is actually happening. I'm like, I'm just not. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to consume any of that because what? Like, just not only is the milk not healthy for me, the process on which it is extracted from the cows is just completely insane. And there's no way I'm going to contribute to any of that. So. So like doctor, so what what do you then sitting there and then he's like, alright, well then you need to eat more leafy greens. And I'm just like face palm one last time. I can't I'm like, okay, you wanna come over to my house all right, for dinner get, and see how much greens that thou eat? Here's a picture from Jason's Instagram account of just a sample and just seeing all the greens that are on top of it. Eat every single day, topped off with leafy greens. Notice the pot lid is overflowing. Lots of kale, lots of spinach, lots of uh, Swiss chard. Swiss chard, I mean, we're, just, we're really trying to get as many as we can. And then, so I'm sitting there, he's telling me to eat more greens. I'm just trying to explain to him how B12 is supposed to be in in all the vegetables, but in the process of which the vegetables are grown, the vegetables, the vegetables are grown in depleted soils, just like our, our, 
our bodies, the soil needs like 52 or 50 to 60 different kinds of vitamins and minerals to grow. And the fertilizers that they are giving the plants only have like phosphorus, potassium, and nitrogen. Where did they go? Where did they go? They're not getting all of the ones that they need. So the B12 is deficient. So and not only that, you can get B12 from a different sources. So I said, doctor, you gonna help me? I said, just give me a B12 injection. Let's just go on our way. He's like, no, you can come back in six months and then we'll do another test. Just eat more. Eat, six months. Eat more greens. I'm I don't know. Oh he really understands oh how, God, how long six months of a, t of a time period is to actually feel deficient. Like, I've been going through this for like, obviously a while now, but, 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 but it actually got worse like for the last couple months. And I'm no way in six months I'm going through this. There's just no freaking way. So right there, we were we were we were back to the square one, left left by ourselves, wondering what are we gonna do. So luckily, we are in in a great circle of vegan friends that that, that that they have contacted us, and we're going to see them all the time, and we're always organizing vegan groups. In fact, last weekend we just went to Toronto for Veg Fest and the Niagara Veg Fest. It's just for more pictures on that, we both uploaded pictures onto our Instagram. You can check those you can out. Check those so right here. Yep. So, so yeah, and we and we got and we got our buddy. This guy's a professional athlete. You know, you know, professional. He's a high one of the highest level runners around. He's been raw vegan for eight years, and he knows raw what, vegan for eight what years. he's talking about. Eight years, and he himself suffered from a B12 deficiency, and he had answers. Absolutely, he said, "Boys, boys, boys, just relax. We can get the injection. It feels you're gonna feel the results soon, and not only that, you don't have to worry about this anymore. It's not a big issue." We're injecting ourselves for the past about uh, two weeks now, you know, sporadically every couple days to get our B12s back up to normal, and I'm telling you, right away, I'm telling you. Boom, right away I'm uh, back. We're feeling the results. I'm feeling great right now. We're shooting this video. My energy levels are back. I wake up every day actually feeling like I'm actually aware, like I can actually connect some dots and keep going. No, dude, the ideas in my brain are there and the energy is there to back it up. I'm not feeling this, yeah. this fatigue for drowsiness. I mean, come on, you guys know LT. We're always high energy and something was wrong, man, and we got it. And I just want to say that we're not recommending a B12 injection for anybody because th there are different ways ways to, ways to do it. I hear uh, you can eat more uh, dirty v v vegetables with the B12 will naturally be in the dirt. You can also have have a lozenges. Yeah, yeah. Put one of them under your tongue every day, and it's supposed to give you a little bit of vitamins to your body. But you know, the point we want to get across is that B12 deficiency is serious, and if you are feeling uh, fatigue and uh, certain results after being vegan for a while, you may just want to get a simple blood test done and just take a look at at the options because I can say right now after we got the blood test after we were aware of what's happening and we've taken care of it we feel fantastic and we just want and we don't want to seem like the vegan lifestyle is going to leave you depleted because that's not the case and you don't have to get your B12 from eating red meat that's just simply not the case so we want to say that we're back Back in great, high energy, back in action. Here it is. We're gonna be sending you videos all the time. You know, to try one, two, three videos a week. Who knows? With the with the with the, the B12s back, with B12 levels back up. Tell you guys, right limit. now we've missed you guys so much. So we're getting excited for more videos. So it's B12 for life, fruits and vegetables for the win.